Hi, my name is Michi Held. Welcome to Daily Drum Lesson. Today we're going to talk about how you can sound better on your drums. There are so many factors which contribute to your drum sound. The drums themselves, the heads, the tuning, the room, even the tip and the weight of the sticks you're using. But before everything else, you, the player, make the sound and the way you hit the drums. So today I want to talk about how you can sound better on your drums. And there are two parts to this. First, how you hit each drum individually and get the best tone possible out of it. And second, how's the relationship in volume between the different instruments. So let's start with each individual drum and then we go to the relationships. Here we go. The snare drum, the heart and soul of the drum set. Here we got the most sound options. First of all, we can hit it dead center to get a short, fat tone with lots of low end. Or we can hit it more at the side to get a longer, ringy tone with less low end. I will talk about the benefits of each one in a minute. Either way, you will never want to leave your stick on the drum head. You always want to let it bounce up again. Otherwise, you will just get a terrible tone. What you can also do on the snare is playing rim shots. This is when you hit the rim and the drum head at the exact same time. This will give you lots of attack and the snare will really cut through. Whenever I play an accent or a backbeat on the snare, I use this technique. It just sounds great. Let's get back to the center versus side thing. Whenever I play backbeat oriented music, like pop, rock, funk, hip hop or whatever, I hit the snare dead center. This gives me a fat and solid tone. But in general, it is really a matter of taste. I like that ringy tone that I get when I play off-center for everything jazz-related. Well, for reggae, it's basically your go-to sound. And sometimes it's a good idea to change things up and move from the center to the side to get a different sound. And the last thing snare related I need to talk about are rim clicks. This is when you lay your stick on your snare head and just play the rim of the snare. For a big and fat tone, always turn your stick around. You can also try to experiment with the position of the tip. The further you move it away from the rim, the deeper the sound will be. Try to find a sweet spot. Let's talk about the toms. Unless you got a really high tuning and play a lot of jazz and Latin, you never want to play rim shots here. Just hit the toms dead center 
and you will get a great sound with lots of low end. And again, never leave your stick on the drum head. It will just sound horrible. All right, let's talk about the bass drum. I think you should hit it dead center as well, but the feel of the pedal is way more important and that changes drastically with your beta height. So the way I like to set up my pedal makes me hit slightly off center. So what's important with the bass drum is to not bury your beta. Let it come back from the head. It's the same as with the snare or the toms. Don't choke it. The difference is way more subtle, but it is there nonetheless, so watch out. All right, the cymbals are much easier than all the drums. Let's talk about the crashes first. You just hit them with the shoulder of the stick, this is this part right here, right at the edge. When you play the right cymbal, you want to use the tip to get a clear and defined ping. When you move to the bell of the right, use the shoulder of the stick. Of course, you could also use the tip, but it would be very quiet. With the hi-hat, we can also do both. Shoulder at the edge for more sizzle and more volume and tip on the body of the cymbal for more definition and way less volume. Okay, let's talk about the volume relationships. For everything backbeat driven, pop, rock, funk, hip hop, the snare and the kick are your main instruments and they need to be the loudest. Especially beginners tend to play the cymbals and the hi-hat way too loud. Keep them quiet and keep a solid bass and a solid backbeat. So always be gentle on the cymbals, especially on the open hi-hat. This will get overwhelming very easily and bury everything else. I even like to just play with a tip on the body of the hi-hat whenever I open it. So, cymbal soft, kick and snare loud, what about the toms? You wanna smack them. Frequency wise, they are pretty low and have difficulties cutting through the mix anyway, so helping them with a bit more volume goes a long way. Okay. I don't want to go into too much detail in different styles because it's really hard to generalize. Everything I just said is for pop, rock, funk, all that backbeat driven stuff. Very different for jazz where 
The hi-hat and the right cymbal sits on top of the mix and the snare and the kick are very, very quiet. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, write something nice in the comments below. If you want to make more videos like this possible, consider donating to my Patreon campaign and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.